Welcome back everyone. We're in the edit bay today tackling a topic that I have yet to cover on my channel. I'm actually kind of surprised that I haven't covered it yet. I was in the airport at LaGuardia a few weeks back and one of my viewers reached out having some issues with relinking their media in an archived project in Final Cut Pro. This YouTuber was Sophia Chang. She has a wonderful channel that I highly recommend checking out. She documents her life through her vlogs and the videos on her channel are really exceptional. I thoroughly enjoy watching them and you can see some real talent and skill when it comes to storytelling and of course editing. Now she's editing in Final Cut Pro and on occasion, just like me, she needs to pull a project from her archives to access some footage for a current video. And I'm gonna do just that. Now I haven't done any prep work for this. I've just got an archive drive here that has a bunch of my old YouTube videos. I haven't like prepped it, made sure everything was there, whatever. We're gonna go through what it would actually look like for me to connect this drive, bring up an old project and make sure everything is getting relinked. Now we need to set up some context for why you end up having to relink all of the video files and media in your Final Cut Pro library when you bring something back from the archive. So when I'm working on a video, I store everything for that video on my Mac Studio, the Final Cut Pro library, all the footage, the graphics, any assets or media that I am using to make the video. And Final Cut sees when you import those video files, it sees the path that it needs to go to to reference those video files. So when you take your project, you're all done with it, and you transfer it to an archive drive like this, you're breaking that path that Final Cut Pro sees. So when you connect this drive to your computer, Final Cut Pro is thinking all of that stuff is on your internal hard drive on your computer, and you have to tell Final Cut Pro to look in a new location for all of that media, the video, the audio, graphics, etc. So whenever you're going to bring a project back up from the archive and connect it to your computer, that's all the relinking process is. So let's go through it together. So I've got my cable here, we've got a little USB-C to USB-B action. We're gonna plug this into the computer and pull up some random project from my archive here in Final Cut Pro. So let's get this all connected, plug that into the USB-C port, tidy that up, and then we're gonna open up a new Finder window so we can navigate to that hard drive. Now again, remember, when I open this library, Final Cut Pro is going to be thinking that that project is still on the internal hard drive for this Mac Studio, and when it looks to reference those files, it's not going to see them and it's gonna it's gonna show that all those files are offline. So let's go ahead and go to this archive. We've got Midland YouTube archive. We'll pull one up from 2021. All right, so let's pull up the most recent video, Enhanced Dialogue Audio with FCP. Now we've got here this older Final Cut Pro library and something to keep in mind when you're pulling something out of the archive. If Final Cut Pro has had subsequent updates since you archived this project, let's say this project was done in Final Cut Pro 10.6.5 and we're currently on Final Cut Pro 10.6.10, you're gonna to have to upgrade this library when you open it. So let's go ahead and double click it and open it and we're gonna be prompted to update it. I'm okay with updating it, especially because I have this backed up. If I ran into an issue, I could always reference my backup drive to access the library that's still compatible with an older version of Final Cut Pro. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. It's gonna take a second to look at everything. And then let's click on this library and you're gonna see all these red missing file notifications, right? This is all media that wasn't stored inside the Final Cut Pro library. It was referencing it in the folder structure that I create in Finder and it's all showing as missing files. If I go to the project and double click on my edit, you're going to see all of this is in red. Now for a lot of people, they panic. What is going on? Missing files, did I delete my video? Did I delete my audio? Oh no, I'm in big trouble. You're not, everything is okay. Everything is happening as it should here in Final Cut Pro. It's a real simple process to relink all of your media. So to start the relinking process, we wanna make sure that we're not clicked on a specific event because then it's only gonna relink the media in that event. We wanna relink the media in the entire library. So we need to click on the library first and then I'll select the file in the browser and hit Command A and that's gonna select all the media in the Final Cut Pro library. And then I'm gonna go up here to relink files and choose original media. 
And you can see here we have this radio button selected for missing and you can see all this missing media here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna now tell Final Cut where to look for all of this media. When I hover my cursor over this, it'll tell you where it thinks this video file should be. So you can see here it says, this footage was previously stored in a volume called Pegasus R8, 21 terabytes, and then it lists out all of the folders and subfolders where that video file was located. Well, this project is no longer being stored on my Pegasus R8 or my internal hard drive on my Mac Studio, which I'm using currently for all of my edits. So I need to tell it where to look. So I'm gonna choose locate all, and then I'm gonna navigate to this backup drive, this archive drive, and here it is here in 2021. And from where we open this video, we know it's the enhanced dialogue audio. And then I can go to the media folder where audio content, film graphics, all my screen recording stuff is located. And you can see here, it has already found a match of 38 of the 40 files. So I can hit choose and Final Cut Pro is gonna scan the contents of all of that and then relink those files by clicking relink files. And you're gonna see all of this stuff in my timeline goes from red missing files to everything being back online. Now, one thing that I'm missing is there's a little piece of a, a music that I'm missing and I store that in a different location. But you can see now we can see my media, we can see the screen recordings and slowly these thumbnails are being generated here in my edit so that it looks like it did when I had finished the edit originally. But you can see here, we had a pretty smooth relinking process. We have a couple things where this piece of media that shows a missing plugin is missing. So I could do some additional um, searching for that media as well. So this missing plugin PNG is a graphic that I must have created and I didn't do a good job of storing it inside my Finder library template. So what I would need to do is I would probably plug in some of my other archive drives and see if I can locate this file elsewhere. If that didn't work and I really needed to pull up this edit to be able to do something with this video, I would probably check the video file on YouTube, double check what it was that I made and see if I can find it by some other means, or I might have to recreate that graphic and add it to the edit in order to re-export this video and use it for whatever I'm using it for. For me, fortunately, that doesn't come up very often. I'm usually just pulling B-roll, like a shot like this from my Tascam. I just need a couple of clips like this for a different video and I can access them this way. Now, if you're experiencing something different or running into any trouble, please feel free to drop a comment down below. If I'm able to, I'm happy to give some advice or point you to some Apple support articles that might give you uh, a better way of trying to overcome the issue that you're having. Now, if you got some value out of this video, I'd love it if you clicked the like button and considered subscribing to the channel. I have a lot of Final Cut Pro content that can help you with the more complex aspects of your workflow for your content creation, your corporate video editing, whatever it is that you're doing. Now, I'm gonna put another video up here next to me that talks about how to archive your project. So we just talked about pulling something from the archive. This video is gonna talk about what I do to archive a project. So definitely check that out if you haven't seen it already. And I'll link to another video down in the description that talks about how to custom rename your files to make relinking your files a lot easier. That's all I've got for this one, everyone. Until the next one, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli.